Now for the last part here, we're asked to find the discriminant of x squared plus 6x plus 11. And you should know that if you've got any quadratic, let's say in this case x squared plus 6x plus 11, this is identical to ax squared plus bx plus c, the standard form for any quadratic expression. And the discriminant is this value. Let's just write down discriminant. The discriminant is always equal to b squared minus 4ac. And if we were to work this out, you can see that the b value is the 6, so we've got 6 squared minus 4 times a. a is a 1 here, we've got 1x squared, so 4 times 1, times c, which is the 11. And if you work this out, you've got 36 minus 44, which comes to minus 8. And so that's the value of the discriminant. And that's as far as we had to take it. But it is well worth noting. Just, can you remember what the discriminant represents? It's the part in the quadratic formula that tells us the roots, okay, of our equation. In fact, the discriminant tells us how many roots there are. And when you get a negative number, it tells us there are no roots. So we would expect this graph not to touch the x-axis. Because where it touches or where it crosses represents the roots. And because we've got a negative number, we have no roots. Okay, so you can see the graph doesn't cross the x-axis. If it equals zero, the discriminant, the graph would touch the x-axis. If it was a positive number, it would cut the x-axis in two places and they would be the roots. Alright, just thought I'd mention that.